Hello everybody, welcome back to another KSP video, and in today's KSP video, we are going to be doing some weird stuff to a Saturn V. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to move the entire third stage, and then the second stage engines. Cut that second stage back on there, and then we are going to uh, be putting uh, some fuel tanks on uh, the top of the second stage, which kind of resemble the space shuttle external tank. <laughs> Not a coincidence, is it? So... After we do that, we are going to go ahead and grab ourselves a new name for the vehicle and a space shuttle in a second. Here you'll see it. And we're going to take our lovely, lovely space shuttle and we are going to put a decoupler on the side of it. And then we are going to be putting our Saturn V back onto it. Yes, this is a stupid idea that was originally proposed in the 1970s and was originally cancelled in the 1970s. Uh, it was active for like, it was it was studied and considered in 1971 to 1972. That was, that's the Wikipedia sentence right there. Um, uh, this is the Saturn Shuttle, uh, is the name of it. Uh, that's what they that's what they called it. I'll throw a picture on screen. This is really the only real picture we have of it. What it would have look, looked like. Uh, yep, yeah, kind of weird looking, isn't it? Uh, it uses a modified Saturn V, which you kind of see right here. What we've done with uh, one of the biggest changes is the giant, huge. Uh, wing kind of things at the bottom. That's there for two reasons. Uh, you know, uh, one of them is just for stability because the space shuttle has those giant uh, wings on the top, uh, and that would cause instability uh, on the rocket. Another reason is because this uh, the bottom stage is actually fully reusable. So what it does is after it detaches, it will do a boost back burn and then land back at the launch site. It's actually quite uh, quite interesting. Uh, this is one of the first references to a boost back burn we've ever seen in history. Because uh, this is way before uh, SpaceX existed, like 30 years. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, but you know. Never came, never, never came to fruition, did it? Uh, another thing it did have is it like a modified thrust puck. Like if you remember uh, Saturn V, it has like that bottom, and then it has the four little pods where each little engine are. Um, this thing uh, does not have that. It has, I don't know, if it's a newer design. I actually don't know why they have it. Maybe it's for structural reasons with the wings and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's that and then we're gonna just put the wings on that and then one thing I, I'm gonna describe uh, how this thing works It's kind of weird how it works. So um, They have the first two stages the fuel tanks of the Saturn V are both completely intact and they stay on the vehicle um, But the first stage and the second stage they act kind of act like one stage um, It's actually a little unclear on all the articles that I found so if there's really only two articles uh, so yeah, so what they do is the two stages, this is the best thing I could find, they do their flyback and then the, the top thing is what actually decouples with the shuttle and then does, it kind of basically serves as the external fuel tank. Uh, we're at the launch by the way, aren't we? So, yeah, so, so basically it's like the bottom two stages of a Saturn V except the second stage does not have any engines and then it's like launching a, uh, a... Uh, an external fuel tank, shuttle external fuel tank on the top with out of third stage. It's really weird. But we are now flying, which is pretty epic, right? And then we're going to get ready to go into the time-lapse mode. Uh, and uh, I totally didn't put a few extra engines in there because the Mastodons are underpowered and why are the Mastodons underpowered squad? Please get more power on the Mastodons because they are underpowered. So, we are now flying. This thing is very spinny, winny, dinny, schwinny, word thing, alliteration. <laughs> Uh, so we just kind of have to go with the spins, not really anything you can really do about it, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's really, this thing was a disaster to fly, but hey, do it for the video, right guys? No, do it, do it for the vine, anyone remember that? I don't even remember, I was, not, I really wasn't, I didn't know what vine was, actually, off topic, aren't I? So we're getting ready to do our stage separation right here, and there it goes, and now we'll get our booster cam, is it? gets its boost back burn done as the shuttle tries to control itself of, with varying degrees of success. So the shuttle is basically just a normal shuttle now with its uh, external fuel tank. Just it's basically the orange tank. So this is as close to a normal shuttle as as, as the, the, this design got. Uh, so now it's done with boost back burn, the booster is, and it's going to come down. Now it is, because of the wings at the bottom, it has major stability problems because of all that lift in the bottom, it wants to flip over. So I have to start my landing bird super early because it becomes unstable under 10 kilometers and I use the uh, the gimbal on the engines to keep it stabilized. So it's actually a little close on fuel, this landing burn, just because it is so long. As we come over the KSC, or near the KSC, um, probably closer than you really would come because, uh, well, the KSC, either way, <laughs> I'm about to start a tangent, but we are landing the booster, aren't we? 
here it comes and 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 just hovering it right over the ground nice epic and oh oh that ain't good that ain't that, that really ain't good that was a big explosion uh yeah so um basically because of how i mounted the landing legs on the wings and the wings are clipped in the into the fuselage uh, or the tanks and just wings being not very structurally sound in the first place it has it, it basically can't land so that was a bit of an oof so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to actually cross straight over to uh, a modified version i made i'm just going to do a little bit of hop to prove to you guys that yes had i been smart it was possible so i'm just 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 to, just for transparency just so i'm not trying to cheese anyone that is that is the events that occurred and that's with the booster so it can land but not the way I had and I don't want to have to redo the entire mission because I wouldn't be able to get the video out today if I did and I need to do my daily uploads which I've been failing at miserably over the last like week and a half so I have I've put a goal that I am not going to miss an upload for at least two weeks I don't want to miss an upload for two months obviously but two weeks that is my goal if I don't do that I don't know maybe I'll have to uh, uh, I don't know uh, jump in a, a pool when, when it's snowy outside. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, so we're ready to do our balloon search and burn right now with our with our with our uh, or external tank. Uh, I didn't use it to do it with the orbital maneuvering thruster system OMS. Um, it's just uh, the, those are the, the 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 small little engines on the uh, side of the space shuttle that help it that orbital maneuvering right. Uh, just because I need that that those those things for other purposes because uh, would you I haven't even talked about what we're gonna do with the space shuttle. It's actually pretty exciting. So we are going to be going out to Zimun, um, and uh, what I'm gonna do is going to uh, open up the cargo bay right here and I'm gonna show you the epic payload that we are gonna be taking to Zimun. It is a oh it's a it's a fuel tank. Oh my gosh, why do we need a fuel tank? Because we need enough fuel to get to the Mun. That, that's why we have that fuel tank. So our payload is Kerbals that we are gonna be taking to the Mun, and I'm not just to the Mun. No, no, no. We have a purpose to go to the Mun. Uh, because in my last video, I launched a uh, a spaceport, basically, to the Mun. I'll put a card right up there. Um, and it uh, it's like a spaceport. It has a landing pad, it has a control tower, it has a hangar, and it has a crew terminal. So it's like a it's a pretty cool place. So uh, I got some comments uh, on that video saying, hey, why why you got a hangar there's no planes on the mun it's like a like an actual plane hangar and you know like hey what's going on here broski like you got a po oh, oh so I, ironic right um in fact i thought it was actually pretty funny and then i'm like all right i'm gonna i realized that i kind of laughed at myself for a bit too but then I, I i i realized i got to thinking i can i can prove all those people wrong i can tell i can i, I will use that hangar for a plane and that's where this idea came up Oh, I'm so stupid. Um, if you like this stupidity, you know, feel free to subscribe. Like, you know, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I could, I could, I'm not gonna, but I could put the thing up where I say like, oh my gosh, only 30% of you are subscribed. Oh my gosh, guys. Smash the like button, smash the notification, get the squad, join the notification squad, and enter my gift card, Amazon, giveaway, Tesla, Bitcoin. Uh, give me one hundred dollars. I'll refund you two hundred. Totally right. <laughs> I, I, I could do that, but instead I will mock those people because those people are very funny and very mockable. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you're interested in subscribing, um, I only say that just because people, um, YouTube has done studies and they say you know if you mention subscribing, you know like five times the people do. Uh, and you know I want subscribers. I actually have a goal to get to a thousand subs by the end of the month. Stupid goal, especially if I keep missing uploads. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like just being bad at my goal for just no reason because I'm lazy apparently now I've, I've had I've had stuff I had a, um, my I don't think you guys really care about my life so I'm not going to talk about it <laughs> um that's you know if you guys cared I would be a vlog channel right so uh rant aside we are now here at the um at the month uh also like you better like the video I'm gonna I'm gonna find you I'm not going to say any of the demon demonetizable words, even though I'm not monetized. So I, I'm just going to stop with the plugs. Also join my Discord. Just, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, so uh, while I, you know, have a don't want to die inside, uh, we are going to get ready to plan our landing. I somehow, oh so, jeez, I need to. <laughs> You know what's funny? The amount of videos where notification sounds have appeared are just like, there's like at least five of them have had notification sounds in them. 
I don't know, maybe I, I, I should just pause. Uh, I, I, I should just redo my commentary. I, mean, I can't redo this. I'm actually already redoing the commentary because I got some major facts wrong about the rocket during the first time. And I realized that like halfway through, I'm like, oh, well, I can't do that. <laughs> I, I don't know, who, who would I be, you know? I don't know, I'm trying to think of some channel that just makes up fake stuff. I don't know. You know those channels that do like, um, that do like those like animated stories? You probably don't, but you should look into them. There's some great videos on them that, that do like, they do like, oh, how I won, I, how I got a million dollars when I was five. And it's like, oh, I had like such a bad childhood. My, you know, my, my dad was like a drunk and I, oh, one day I got out and I was searching for a life and oh, I found a treasure chest with one million dollars worth of Bitcoin in it. <laughs> those are, those are great. But uh, what we're doing right now is firing the one vector engine, it's about to talk about it on screen, right? Uh, to come down at our base as um, as it comes into view. Uh, I'm firing only the middle vector engine because that's the only one that I could really fire to keep ourselves stable. Because if I fired like any other combination of engines, we'd explode. And I couldn't just use the orbital maneuvering engines um, because they, they don't have enough thrust to weight ratio to actually land us uh, reasonably. Because uh, we don't have a whole lot of extra delta V, um, but uh, here we are coming in. There's a little uh, red target circle thing, and that's just on. I just that's in Kerbal Engineer, uh, just just so uh, this is where I can see where I'm landing. It's kind of annoying when you get low, but it's pretty useful for like looking at the booster trajectory. But here we are coming down in lovely 8 FPS because of all like the thousands of parts that are in play. But looks like we have touched down, and the main gear are just about touching down now, and the nose gear is going to just absolutely thonk itself onto the ground but we are here and i don't have a steerable nose here so <laughs> that was a bit of a meme i'm like oh geez how am i going to turn i have to get you know the hangers all the way over there i have to like drive into it right so i came up with a genius idea to just do that fire the engine and try and turn the engine and mess with my brakes and <sighs> bad bad I'm, I'm just such a stupid person as <laughs> we just kind of we kind of fire the engine and kind of go around the circle and we go nice and slow and uh, I'll, um, <laughs> this is such a mess. Uh, I'll cross right over here in about 30 seconds because I don't think you guys want to watch the entire, entire like hour long drive. And actually with all the drive, all the driving I did, I wound up not having very much extra Delta V at the end, um, at the end of the day, um, uh, at, the end, at the end of my docking basically. Uh, or not my docking, my parking. <laughs> yeah, this parking. Um, so actually, it was good. I guess it was a good thing I brought that fuel tank along, right? I, I, I wouldn't have been able to do my my translunar injection had I not done it. But either way, we're now coming in to the um, to the hangar. I, I, I would have landed on the launch pad, but I didn't put a ramp, so I'd have been stuck on the launch pad, and I wanted to bring this into the hangar. So I, I, I probably should have like thought ahead, thought more than five minutes ahead. But here we are. We're bringing it into the hangar. And yeah, we're done it. We're in park right next to the rover, right guys? All right, that, that's it. That's gonna do it for the video. So, some cards up there if you wanna click on that and get me views, I don't know. Don't get me views. Click on them and then be mean to me. I don't know, I'm fine with that. But either way, thanks for watching. What's the next time? Please write a comment to the video. Once again, thank you for watching. What's the next time? And bye.